Okay, this morning we are headed to the vet. This is a little boy, little girl. Um, so I don't know if you guys can tell, he has a little bit of a discharge there in this eye and I've seen it in hers. I don't see any right now, but because he has discharge and I have seen it in hers, we're gonna go ahead and take them to the vet and get something for those eyes. And of course, um, while we're there, we're gonna go ahead and get a fecal sample done and just see where they are, see if maybe they need treatment for coccidia or anything like that. All right, so I took the, those goats in because of um, discharge in one of the eyes. And um, since I was there, I went ahead and um, had a fecal sample taken to check for parasites. Good grief. Dolly's just gonna holler for fun, I guess. I don't know. What are you, what are you hollering about? Anyway, so, um, I took, I had them go ahead and take a fecal sample and check for parasites while we were there. And the little boy that I had, Rain's Buck, has coccidia. And the other one, she didn't see anything in. So, um, but I'm gonna treat all of the kids for coccidia. Um, hey, Tucker. So I'm gonna treat them all. So Pebbles, Buckling, and Doling are already sold. I told you guys that on the last video. And um, I had a guy that was interested in Rain's little Buckling. I don't know if you can see right away. Tucker, I'm trying to talk here. Excuse me. Anyway, back there. I had a guy interested in him and was gonna send a uh, deposit to hold him until he was weaned, but um, I don't know if that's going to happen now because I had to text him and let him know what was going on. That we are treating um, for something in the eye. She said the eye looked good and so she wanted to do a topical and she gave enough for all of the kids. Um, so um, she wanted to do like a topical cream and then if that didn't work or if it got worse to bring them on in and we'd put them on antibiotics. But... Um, so anyway, I had to contact that guy and let him know and told him that um, not to not to worry about sending a deposit because I was going to remove the advertisements for the for for him. Actually, he was the only one I was advertising right now because the other uh, buck is already sold. But I was going to remove the advertisements, and so there was no need for him to have a deposit down on it because there's no one's going to come out. And, and purchase the goat anyway, because I'm not selling him yet. I told him if he was interested to let me know. And then in a week after we get through treating him for the coccidia and we, you know, get through treating his eye, um, then we can worry about whether or not he needs to pay a deposit for this goat. I haven't heard anything back from him today. So I don't know if he's still interested or if that frustrated him or scared him off, you know, one of the two, but these things happen. Um, don't usually have problems with their eyes but can't say that it's not the first time that that's happened so but the coccidia that's every year for me anyway the kids not the adults i don't have to worry about the adults as much because they've got a better immune system but the little kids that's something that we deal with every year so we'll see um if he reaches back out tucker is having to learn to be a dog so I did, we, we already treated them and put the, the stuff in their eyes. And um, actually when we were treating for COVID, we saw a couple of the other kids had a little little bit of drainage in, the, in one of the eyes. So we, we treated them, the ones that needed it. And we've been out here mowing. I didn't show us treating them. Didn't think about it really. Um, wanted to get, get out mowing and I'm about to go out and brush hog a little bit. Do you like being on the camera? Do you? He's a good boy. He's a good boy. He tries. Anyway, so you don't really have to get real close right here because they keep it down as far as river can reach. 
trying to hide from the wind. It is really windy today, so it makes it really hard to film. Um, and one of the reasons that I haven't been filming very much today is because it's so windy. But anyway, um, there is something I want to show you guys that while I was mowing, I saw it. And so I want to show you. Uh, I want to show it to you. Here are the death layers. Move, buddy. There's an egg. Back there in the corner. That's her first egg. I bet you it's not any good, but... That is the first egg, and hopefully, real soon, we'll start to get one every day. I look forward to uh, incubating some of these eggs and hatching death layers, and I'll probably end up selling some death layers once I get a, a good flock going. Gonna go check on the little bitty cows. I really like having little cows. At least right now. Here they are. Well, here's. Yeah, they're up here. Y'all hear that? He's getting feed. Guys, I'm sorry if it is uh, really windy. There's just not much I can do. Hey, when, when are you going to have yours? do something about flies I guess that would be a good idea wouldn't it do something about them flies the babies are over there y'all ready to eat The size difference in the two calves are ridiculous. They're only, what, two days apart or three days? I don't know. I think they're three days. That's the soil of one hour? Yes. Well, there's one way to distinguish them. Well, yeah. On his stomach, he has white. What else does he have on his stomach? Uh huh. But yeah, he, they're a lot smaller. That's what we were talking about when he was born, how much smaller than he was in this one. I can't believe, though, there's there's a huge size difference. And he was born on, he was actually, he was a Saturday, right? Yes. He was a Saturday, and ours was born on a Wednesday. Because that's the day I was going to take you to the movies, and we didn't go because he was born. Little bitty. Well, where's the white coming from? She's black. She's got a little white under her, and Jake has a white under him. Oh. He <laughs> said no. He just walked. He just walked completely into her. He couldn't do that. Uh uh. No. He would have to See, army he, crawl. Yeah, he had to get on his knees to crawl under her. He just walked right on under. He's not gonna let you pet him. Huh? With the other one? No, not that I know of. He said, I might be about a week old, but I'm pretty smart for about a week old. He saw you going through the McDonald's drive through He knows better. Look at this. He's coming up. Look how much bigger. Are you going to just let your kid hang out with my kid? Are you sure about that? Wonder when this other heifer is going to release her captive. Surely it can't be too much longer. Let me 
Don't touch it. On the last video, um, if you remember, I was talking about getting uh, opening an incubator <clears throat> and getting the the uh, egg turner out, even though one of the turkeys had started hatching and was concerned that maybe that might um, hurt the turkey or kill it or something. Um, it did not harm the turkey. And we've got seven turkeys, including that one, that have hatched. And so, um, yeah, I didn't do anything to it. I'm glad it didn't. But we have some turkeys in a second incubator. I don't even know, probably about 10 eggs in a second incubator not turkeys we've got eggs they're not ready to hatch yet i think they have a few more days maybe a week maybe but uh right now in the brooder we have seven turkeys and actually that's not true we have one in an incubator and six in the brooder because one more just hatched out this morning so we have seven turkeys but one is in the incubator still and there's dolly she still has her her pipe on her head, although it's looking kind of rough. Looks like she's been, she's been working on an escape plan is what that looks like. Look back. Chase out of the way. Good grief. They'll all fight over one little bow just to keep from eating with Rocky. It's normally Oreo's Yeah. Oreo doesn't care who's eating. She just gets up there and gets what she wants. That's not true. That's Dolly that's usually aggressive with the food, isn't it? people see they don't act sick they don't look sick we wouldn't have known that they had a parasite issue if I had not gotten a fecal sample taken in look at him look at this little buckling right here trying to mate one of them girls them, the little Niger <laughs> little Nigerian dwarf bucks they start that stuff early That's a buck. Actually, that's the buck that we took to the vet. I'm trying to mate with one of the does. It can't do anything yet. But it won't be long. It's funny. Okay, so we're out here with the turkeys. And um, I told you guys that we had, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear with all this wind. Okay, maybe that'll work. I told you that we had seven turkeys in there. The the tom that we have, the only tom that we have is this royal palm tom. And then we have um, a one royal palm hen and three blue slate hens. But the thing is, out of these turkeys that we hatched, two of them are black. And so I, I, don't, I don't know anything about turkey genetics or where the colors come from, but if you do know something about it, please leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know why we have two of them that are black when the father is white and the mothers are either white or the blue slate. I almost forgot to tell you, we did get our check back from the auction that we went to. I think it was last weekend, the poultry auction. We sold uh, three Cayuga ducks, a drake, and two hens, and we sold the cage that they were in. And the reason we sold the cage was because in order to get the cage back, I would have had to stay to the end of the auction to get it back. And we weren't, it was, the auction didn't start till like 5.30. It was an hour, hour and a, hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes from my house off. <laughs> I knew that I wouldn't stay for the whole thing. So we sold the cage and the three ducks and, and, and we actually, we lost money on it. 
I would have um, been better off to advertise the ducks on maybe Craigslist or Facebook or MeWe or something like that rather than take it to the auction. But we had fun going to the auction. I wanted to see what they would go for. I, I, I have these ducks. I still have the little duckling inside that I got from um, Hidden Heights Farm. I'm hoping that's a drake because if that's a drake then I can, uh, I can hatch some Cuyahoga ducks, Cuyahoga ducks and sell them. But just maybe not sell them at an auction. Now we have, there's another poultry auction closer that I want to take the, the uh, rooster and the one rooster and the one hen that I have up there in the hoop coop. I want to take them in and see what they go for at that auction. Just trying things out, seeing um, what things are going for at these different auctions and, and just, you know, just putting our fillers out, see what's going on. I do still have that one chick that I hatched the uh, I am Katawa if that's I don't know if that's how you say it or not but the the laughing chicken I kind of think it's a rooster but I don't know for sure um, it was having problems kind of I guess keeping its balance kind of standing and it still has that problem I separated it from the other other chickens and the duck and uh, it's not getting worse it's not getting any better than it was but it's not getting worse. He seems to be doing fine and kind of um, adjusting to it. So, um, but I had to move him into a box because the turkeys hatched. And so now they are in that brooder and now I gotta figure out, I gotta figure out where to put all these birds.